All right, uh, today's video is something I've been asked a lot about, so we're gonna jump on it. Uphill and downhill lies. How do we deal with these major issues uh, in golf? Let's go. Okay, you've asked for this uh, a lot, and I uh, can't believe I haven't done a video on this yet. Look at this, you can see the slope. My ball is just rolling backwards that way. It's pretty severe slope. So how do we deal with this? And um, as we go, we're gonna just talk about really the five keys of how to handle the uphills, and we'll flip it around and I'll do downhills, and you'll, uh, you'll be on your way to uh, great things. So, uh, by the way, be sure you hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Appreciate the support. And let's get right into it, okay? Step one here. Here's what we're gonna do. What I want you to do when you get this, we've gotta get our shoulders, you know, parallel to the ground. So here's normal, you know, you might set up like this. You've really gotta go this way. Now, what happens though is uh, you get here, you wanna lean back on your back foot. So what people do is they lean forward on here. What that does is, if you lean on your front foot here, you're gonna come steep and you're gonna start chunking the ball. So this is really one of the few shots in golf where I want you on your back foot, okay? Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple little things that's gonna help you kind of uh, account for that and you'll be fine. So this is gonna be that one scenario where you're on your back foot most of your weight, okay? Because I want you here. So that's, that's where you're gonna begin, okay? Get a good setup, weight, uh, shoulders parallel with the ground. Okay, that, this is step one. And then your weight's gonna be on your back foot right here, okay? That's your initial setup. I want a little more narrow stance too, okay? This is your initial setup position. Hands are not gonna be forward because that's gonna promote that steep angle of attack. We don't want that here. So again, hand center right here and your weight's more on your back foot. And then we're gonna back that ball up a touch in our stance, okay? So center would be here. We're gonna go, you know, like a ball back. So back more, okay? There we go, weight's on the back foot. Right there, okay? Feels weird, but you gotta do this stuff to get going right here. Okay? I think I just hit the flag stick. A little chunky on that one, but that's okay. We're working that out. I'm gonna show you the other steps that we need to do to account for that so you can really hit a confident shots as we go. Okay, so the next piece of this is gonna be this. We're gonna have to open that face up quite a bit. So you're here, I really want that face open. And then we're gonna choke down on the club a little bit, like two inches. So we're taking like a club or two extra so that you know this is how you account for that. And the reason we open that face is so we can use that sole and the balance of the club a lot better through the turf. And that's gonna help us if we come a little too steep that bounce of your club, you're adding to it, and you're using that sole to help get you through the turf. So you choke down here, weights back, open face, you're good to go here, shoulders, everything good, okay? That was pretty good. Now, you see how much less chunky that was compared to the first shot? is because we open that face and we're using that sole and the balance of the club through the turf and it's helping just glide that club right on through so that you can hit these shots a lot easier. There's another piece you need to really be able to pull this off consistently. Okay, so that last piece, and you might already know what it is just by watching me swing. So I've got this narrower stance, weights on my back foot, Shoulders, everything's good. Face is open. I got a couple, I got a nine iron here. I got a hundred yard shot, right? So I have a couple extra clubs choking down. My swing, I really want a short backswing and a shorter follow through. And the reason I'm doing that is because I, I'm not gonna be able to drive off my back foot like I could on a flat surface, all right? This is not the driving range. So I've gotta account for the fact that I'm gonna need more club because I'm gonna have less of a swing. So I'm doing that with a couple extra clubs and I'm not gonna be able to use the ground like I can and drive forward to get that extra power. That's just not gonna happen here. And then my weight's gonna be back most of the time. So again, I'm not getting going forward. 
So that's why I'm taking extra club, but I'm keeping a short swing to keep everything under control. And then I'm just here and that's, and my weight's gonna stay back, but I need that shorter swing back and forward, kind of like a punch shot as you go through this. And these keys are really gonna help you. So you can aim a touch left if you want, open that face, but I typically aim square and open the face because you're gonna pull it left more often because of the fact you're on this uphill slope. So I just aim square, open the face, and those two cancel each other out. Should go right at the hole. And there we go, a little back of my stance. We're good to go, everything's good. And there, you see my weight's back. That's a good shot right there. And you're just using the ground and the club to its maximum benefit here on these short shots. But you just gotta take a couple extra clubs, have these fundamentals for the uphill shots, and you're good to go. Let's go to the downhill shot, and we'll get you the keys for those right away. Okay, here we go. We have a very similar shot as the uphill one we just had a minute ago, but this is our downhill version. <clears throat> and a lot of the principles are very similar, however, just in reverse, okay? So for starters, your setup has to be perfect. If your setup is not right, uh, you're gonna hit it fat or thin and just overall, it's just not gonna be a good result. So um, you have to, first of all, get your shoulders to match the slope of the terrain, all right? So every uphill and downhill is gonna be slightly different, but as long as you can get your shoulder angle to match, you're good. And then your, here your weight's gonna be on your front foot most of the time. So just have that in mind. Now, I do not at this point put the ball back in my stance, all right? Because now I'm, I'm already with my setup, I'm promoting a steep angle of attack. So if I put it back, now I'm steep and hitting early, that's a very difficult combination. So I'm gonna move it forward here. And I'm gonna put it more, a ball forward in my stance, all right? So again, feet narrow, weights forward, shoulders sloping down, all right? That's the initial setup here. And what you're gonna do here also is open up the club face, okay? So let's say I have 95 yards to this hole, and that's normally, let's say, my 54 degree wedge. Now, because of how I set up, it turns 54, let's say, into 50. So it's going to go a little bit farther than normal. But that's why I'm, well, there's two reasons I'm actually opening the face, but that's one of the reasons is open that face, get it back to a 54 or even more degree of a club. Also, when you open that face, okay, this is important, okay? When you open that face, the club now is pointing off to the right. So what that's gonna help me do is I'm gonna take it back just instinctually, it's gonna come more inside because that's actually from out there to back there is a straight, that's the straight line. So if I were to open that face and take it out, it just wouldn't look right, it wouldn't you know, sit right in your mind. So if I set up to that flag and I'm here and I open that face and it's pointing out there, now I'm, I get to bring it way inside or shallow is what we want. So again, from this angle, if I'm here, if I open that face, it's pointed there, the straight line is back here, so I can take it back here and now my angle of attack isn't so steep into the ball, which is exactly what you want in a situation like this is uh, more of a shallow angle of attack. So now I just have to adjust my aim because here I want that club face to point to my target. Whereas before I was gonna pull it, now I need to aim my feet pretty far left, weight forward, shoulder sloping, ball forward, face open. Now I've got my setup good and that's pointed more at my target. And uh, that's actually pretty good. I thinned it a touch, but that's better than hitting it fat because it had a nice shallow angle of attack. So if you find you're taking a big divot, then you know one thing, your setup is just not correct and that's what you have to fix is your setup. So either you are not leaning forward on your front foot, the ball's in the wrong spot, or you haven't opened up that face correctly. So I'm opening that face up here you know, some people will take extra club or less club because they're 
de-lofting the club based on the slope. But if you open the face up, you counter off that, uh, that, you know, that angle and then you're back to your normal club. So that's why I like opening that face. Plus it helps me take it a much more shallow because you're gonna bring it back in here versus if I were to square it, I would wanna come straight back and then you could do that. And I don't wanna do that in this situation. So wait forward, open that face. Now I get to bring it in here and then just try to keep aiming a little left till we're, we're kind of all synced up. Also that ball, the longer the shot, the longer the club, the more that ball is gonna move from left to right. So you can start aiming a little bit more left each uh, club you get, right? So let's say I'm hitting a four iron, I would start aiming a little left of the green and then that would go and start cutting back. But again, all the fundamentals would be the same, still opening that face up here. Wait forward, that feels about right there. And there you go. I mean, that's okay, but so it faded quite a bit on me. So I got to adjust for that. And then it came up, it was about the right distance, but as it faded, it hit the bunker, okay? So that's not what um, we want. We got to figure out how to really get our body to aim left. We're good to go. You could take a little divot, it's fine. And with uphill, we're taking a short swing. You don't really need to take a short sawed off swing here. You can go ahead and swing full because you get that proper uh, finish position and your weight is moving forward through the ball and we want that. So you can go ahead and take a nice, you know, stock swing for you, whatever, you know, whatever that is. So just set up good. We're fantastic there. I love that. Weight forward, shoulders good, face open, good to go. You know, my weight's way up here. That was good. And it's good, a lot of spin on that one. It came back pretty good. And you could start seeing that you'll, you'll get through the shot and you just got to figure out how much it's going to fade on you. And then you could start adjusting for that, make those adjustments and you're good to go. But the key fundamentals are going to be the proper setup. And then you have to get that face open, both in the uphill and the downhill shot. Otherwise, you're just not going to be set up for success. So make sure you're doing that. If you miss everything else, get that piece right. That is the key to pulling off up and downhill shots.